I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to explain doubly linked lists, or bidirectional linked lists, sometimes they're called. And I'm going to show an implementation in Python. Now, if you haven't seen my regular linked list video in Python, I strongly recommend you go back and watch that first. Uh, in fact, I'm actually doing this as kind of a continuation of that one because I got so much interest in that video that people asked me to, to show some other linked list implementations. So a regular linked list basically has pointer to the root node or the very first node in the list. And then each node has a piece of data and a pointer to the next node. So with a doubly linked list, every node has three parts. It has a pointer to the previous node, a pointer to the next node, and a piece of data. So this enables us to navigate either forward or backward through the linked list. So a short, simple, doubly linked list may look like this. We've got three data nodes where the data is just integers. And each node has a pointer to the next and to the previous node. So if you had a linked list with, let's say, a million nodes in it and you wanted to get to a node near the end, uh, in a normal linked list, you'd have to start at the root and iterate through the entire list until you got to that node. Now in a doubly linked list, you could actually save a pointer to the, to the last node and then iterate backwards through the list and save a lot of time that way. So depending on how you're going to use the linked list, doubly linked list may make a lot of sense for you in performance and, and inconvenience. It's really minor difference in terms of implementation. You simply need to update a previous node and the next node each time you either insert or delete a node. And I'll show you how to do that in the code in a second. So some of the advantages of a regular or singly linked list, you can iterate the list in either direction, as I explained, and you can delete a node without iterating through the entire list if you have a pointer to the node. So let's say you have a pointer to this node and you want to delete it. You can simply update the previous and next nodes in the node to either side of it and take this one out. In a single linked list, you would not be able to do that, but you'd actually have to iterate through the entire list to delete a node. But on the negative side, doubly linked lists actually do use more memory because you have an additional pointer to the previous node. So you have a pointer to the previous node and a pointer to the next node on top of the data. So it does use up more memory and there's a little bit more coding involved because each time you insert or delete a node, you also have to update the previous node as well as the next node. Now, without further ado, let's dig into the code and let me show you how I implemented this. So with our doubly linked list code, it really, I started with this standard linked list code and I made a few edits to it, so I'll explain those edits. So the, the first thing we added is in the node class, we changed the constructor to add a previous node in case you want to pass in a previous node to the constructor and then we set the previous node equal to that P if one is passed in. If nothing's passed in then it's just going to assign none to it. And then we have setters and getters so there's a get previous and a set previous right so you can set and get the previous node value. So that's that's the only change in the node class In the linked list class, we basically made changes to the add and the remove functions. In the add function, it's almost identical to the regular linked list, except that we also had to do a check. If there's at least one node in the linked list already, then as we add a new item to the top of the list or to the front of the list, we have to add a pointer to that node pointing to the previous one. So, so in this case, if there is a root node, then we know there's one node at least in the list. So we assign the root node's previous node to this new node. Let's look at how to delete a node. Let's say we want to delete this 23 node here. What we really have to do is update the pointers pointing into node 23. We don't care about the pointers going out of node 23. And what we want to do is bypass that whole node and jump to the next one. So the next pointer in the previous node should point to 23's next node. And the previous pointer in the next node should point to 23's previous pointer. Basically, we just bypass this node whether we're going forward or backward. So to do this in code, we first need a pointer to the previous node. So we'll just say previous equals this right? Whatever 23's previous is. And then we'll say next equals whatever 23's next node is pointing at. So now we have a pointer to the previous node and the next node. 
And then we can write previous.setNext to next. Previous.setNext, so we're setting this pointer to this. And then we're going to set next.setPrevious. Next node is here. Set previous is this pointer to previous, which is here. So that's what we're doing. We're setting this pointer to this node and then this previous pointer to this node. And that's all we have to do to delete. So when we look at the code, that's exactly what we did. Well, as soon as we find the node we want to delete, first we set our next and previous pointers, and then we uh, set previous and set next, as, as I just demonstrated. And one thing we added here is a check to see if next exists. So if next is not none, and if previous is not none, otherwise we would get an error. And that's pretty much it. We uh, decrement the size because we deleted a node. We return true if we succeeded in deleting it. So that wraps up our video for doubly linked lists. I hope this is helpful for you. I posted the code on my GitHub site, so you're welcome to download that and play with it. If you have any feedback, I welcome any comments. I hope you'll give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.